What does that look like? Oh, cyclopropane a triangle. Beautiful. <laughs> and a triangle appears. Yes. <laughs> Ta-da. Um, and then I have dimethyl. So I have two methyl groups coming from the one and the two. Like okay. This. Where's the one and the two? And mm -hmm. I'm going to label it one, two. So my substituents are at the lowest. Good. Like that. And that's everything, right? Perfect. That's everything. Now the question is asking. It's the stereoisomers, so if, I, if there's a possibility. There's two. Okay. Why? Because there's three different... This is oh, a yeah, hydrogen, hydrogen, right? I was getting confused. I'm like, where did I get the four? Okay. If we just looked at this one, right? Uh -huh. I know, okay, this is a methyl. This is a hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Two different groups. Next... I have a CH2 and a CH, yes. or you know, really one that's connected to another methyl group. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are two different groups. Two different ones, you're right. So you're correct. And then same concept here. This is it's it, this is a hydrogen. And then again, same same there thing. Go. Okay. Yes. So you're good. So that's good. Okay. So there's four different groups attached to them. Yep. The repeats. How many possible stereoisomers do we have? Four. Yep. Build it. Okay. Stereochemistry now. Let's do this. Technically, wouldn't just be like this. I could do this. That's fine. And let's have this little, it's like a little triangle. Oh, yes, thank you. And then I could technically also I'm gonna skip a, this over. Oh yeah, thank you. That's perfect. Then, same thing, I could switch them. Check they're your work. They're the same thing though. Good, they're the same thing. So what does that mean? What kind of compound is it? So, what do you mean? Compound? Hold on, they're the same thing, right? Uh -huh, you, said, uh -huh. you said that these two are the same thing, correct? Uh -huh. Yes, they are the same thing. Okay. Does that relate to anything? How would we classify this as a stereoisomer? Think of the soup. Okay, so miso symmetry. Yes. Or, okay. Yes. <laughs> so this is a miso compound. And it's just this one specifically. We're not saying that these two are. So this is the same exact thing. I can't have that. Oh, that's why the other one earlier. Yes. I was so confused. I was like, why? Oh, so that's possibility of four. That's yep. this is one of those. And then your main clue, we're not even necessarily looking at the chiral uh, center's like configuration uh -huh. at this moment. Instead, how we can tell internal line of symmetry. These mirror each other, right? I can cut this in half. If I were to cut this down the middle, uh -huh. this is the same as this. Mirrored image. Yep. And because of that, that's how I know it's, it's miso. Okay. So I can't have this this guy here because it'd be the same thing. It'd be the same exact thing. Oh. So instead, you have the option of either picking this one uh -huh. or this one, but not both. Okay. So okay, that's that one is out. So what else can we do? So I could do. Could I mix like a dashed and yes. a wedged? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'd be fine there. That's correct. Can we do anything else? And then technically, could I do the same thing, like a dash here and a wedge yes. here? Yes. How does that work though? I don't know why that. Why is that? Okay. Okay. The reason why it would be different is because this one is pointing away from you. This one is pointing oh, towards you. Oh, so it's a different structure. It's, it, it's different because uh, this goes back to really enantiomers. Yeah. So these two actually would have been enantiomers because they're non-superimposable. Non-superimposable -super, just means that if I were to line, try to line these up, uh -huh. they wouldn't line up perfectly. Superimposable means that these two yes. would line up perfectly. Okay, okay. And that goes back to like hands, right? Where our hands are uh, non-superimposable because, like, and they're mere images of each other, uh -huh. but I can't line them up, right? The thumbs don't work. Right. So that's the idea here. This is pointing towards the back. This is pointing towards the front. That's not gonna line up. Okay, but in this case, because if I did a wedge, then they'd be pointing, two pointing towards the front, two pointing yes. towards the back. Yes, they're not opposite. If you, like, stack them, they would be the same. It would be the same thing. Okay. Because you're just flipping it. That makes sense. You're just, like, reversing what oh, it is. Me so. I know. That's so confusing. Okay. But in this case, there's four possible, but the, the there's actual? only three actual. I yes. See you. Okay. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.